I have the new iPhone 15 Pro and I'm so excited because I'm gonna do an unboxing with you guys and show you guys what it looks like and tell you how it feels and just show you all the like physical stuff about the phone. Comes with a stronger charger than previous phones. Action button that you can customize. No space for SIM card. Okay, we're done with the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But now let's get into like what I think about the phone. Let's get into my first impressions basically. First of all, this phone is so light compared to my phone. I have the 13 Pro. This phone is heavy. And one thing I did not love about this phone is when I take off the phone case, it is so hard for me to hold it. It's just like, it has very sharp edges and just very uncomfortable. So I end up having to like put it back in the case. I mean, it's safer for you to have it in the case anyway. But sometimes, you know, I just want to take out my iPhone phone and just enjoy it without a case and i just feel like with this phone the slightest mistake you make it's gonna be on the floor because it's so slippery the sides are so slippery and you have to like really hold it if you have sweaty hands like me it's game over for you but with this one you guys the edges are so nicely rounded it reminds me of like the iphone 11 the iphone 11 was more like rounded than this but i love this one too i really really do like iphone 15 pro does not have a place for you to put sim card it's e-sim now this style it with like the iPhone 14 so it's not like new new on the 13 or the 14 you have like this thing over here where you just like push it up and down and it just basically puts your phone to silent or takes it out of silent for the 15 Pro you have now what is called action button right here so you guys saw me choose what I wanted to do right so you can choose it to like change your phone to silent you can choose camera you can choose focus mode which is like do not disturb so I put mine to camera so we're gonna press and hold you have to press and hold you don't double click it you have to press and hold and then it's gonna pop up so let's try it out press and hold and then it's gonna open up the camera for you hi <laughs> So when you do want to change it, all you have to do is just go to settings and then just scroll down and you're going to see like action button somewhere over here. It is right there after control center. And then you can always just like change it to whatever you feel like. So let's change it back to silent mode instead of camera and test it out. Okay, now it's in silent mode. The phone is already on silent, but let's just try it out. Press and hold. And it took the phone out of silent. Press and hold again. And then now the phone is on silent. Personally, if I'm using this phone, I think I'll just leave it on silent mode because with like getting to your camera, you can just simply, you know, press and hold on this and it's gonna open up your camera when it's, you know, on the lock screen. So like I said, for me personally, I'll just leave it to silent mode. Also, of course, one of the reasons why most people upgrade their phones is because of the camera. Okay, so when I go to the camera of the 15 Pro and the 13 Pro that I have, on the 13 Pro, you will have 0.5, 1X and 3X. On this one, you have 0.5, 1, 2x and 3x so if i put it back to one that's what it looks like and then if i put it to 0.5 that's what the camera quality looks like i am in the camera settings right now and you can see now you don't just have a way to like change your video quality for regular video and um, slow motion you can change it for cinematic mode too on the iphone 15 pro so you can change your cinematic to record up to 4k 30 frames per second which is amazing and now on the 15 pro when you scroll down you have something that says main camera and if you click on that it gives you options that you can choose from to like make it your main camera when you do want to take like a video so when you click on that that comes up and you can like turn off whatever you want to turn off leave it on and you can choose from these options over here so yeah that's pretty much it for like the unboxing and my first impressions i will be posting a video for you guys detailing like the ios 17 and every single thing especially from like the main apps iMessage, contact facetime maybe the notes app reminders like the main apps that i feel like you guys will want to know about
out look forward to that i'm gonna be posting a video on that i will see you guys in my next video